Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on my channel. I'm starting the first video of one of a few different series that I am going to be doing, and this series is my confidence series. And I kind of decided to do this a little bit on a whim, but also because of some of the um, just different things I've seen, not only in the YouTube community, but on other people's channels, um, and also things that I am dealing with as well. So this is video number one for confidence series and the title of this one is going to be it's okay to be you i wanted to not only just do beauty videos but i want to throw in a couple of lifestyle and other types of helpful videos that might appeal to more audiences than people that just like makeup and some of this stuff has to do with the fact that we are beauty gurus and we are doing this stuff so i have four different kind of points that i want to talk about today and these are things that don't apply to everybody and so if you are dealing with this or have ever have dealt with this or have known somebody who has um, then this is something that might appeal to you if not then you know you don't have to watch it but these are just things that I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about and these are not you know laws or things that you have to go by these are just things that I notice and that I personally believe in so the first thing that I have wrote down is it's okay if you have minor or major imperfections because just because you don't have really long super gorgeous hair or you know four drawers of the Alex nine drawers full of makeup or you know an absolutely flawless face with no pores and everything doesn't mean that you can't be a YouTube beauty guru and you can't teach other people about beauty at least in my opinion um, and I'm looking down because I, I have all of this stuff written down kind of my bullet points um, and in fact I think it's more refreshing when people don't look like everyone else and that's something that I've kind of noticed in the beauty community lately is that a lot of these bigger youtubers all kind of look alike they all look like each other they all have the same kind of beauty setup and they all have the same you know and so it gets kind of boring to me I like seeing somebody who is funky and has you know weird posters on the wall or a duct tape DIY something or other just something that's kind of unique um, I like seeing people that have real faces, you know, real, like, you know, things going on, real problems that they're having to deal with and overcome. That's just me personally. Some people find it more aesthetically pleasing to look at a beauty guru or somebody like that who is more, you know, pleasing to look at. And some people don't feel that if you aren't pretty or don't have these kinds of, um, features that you shouldn't be teaching other people about beauty yourself, which I completely disagree with. But there are people out there who sincerely believe that. So another thing that I have written down, and this is something that I struggle with all the time, and I know you guys have too. And number two is, it's okay if your beauty room doesn't look like some of the other ones out there. I watched this one last night, and I was like, this is the most perfect beauty room I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my gosh. It looks like a lot of the other ones, but it was just perfect to me. But I film in my closet. In the background there is, you know, I have stuff that I've bought stuck to the wall with, you know, push pins. I think it's kind of cool. I like the packaging and I don't have anywhere to stick the box and I think the box is pretty, so I just stuck it to the wall. I gotta fill in this kind of space a little bit more as I buy more things, but I film in my closet. Some of you film sitting on the floor or sitting on a chair or outside or who knows, who cares? It doesn't matter. You don't have to have this big, beautiful room with all Ikea products, you know, and whatever to be a beauty, you know, that's ridiculous to me. So if you guys have a unique kind of setup, I would love to see it. And so you guys can um, email me or link me pictures and I'd love to see your beauty setups if they're not, you know, if they're kind of unique. I like seeing stuff like that. So, um, and so you can work, you know, kind of slowly, but make your space your own. You know, if you like having all white stuff and everything from Ikea, great. If you, and it's okay at the same time though, if you have a thrift store, you know, vanity that has, you know, colorful zebra print duct tape on it that you also really like is your vanity too. That's totally okay. So, um, number three, this is kind of a big one for me, but it's okay to have your own unique personality. And this is something that I struggled with. I keep feeling like I'm sinking down. It's because I'm so short. So I'm like trying to sit up because I'm really, really short. Um, but it's okay if you have your own unique personality. If you're goofy, make it work for you. If you're serious, you can make it work for you too. Um, 
if you're kind of nerdy, then it's okay to be a beauty guru and also be nerdy. In fact, some people think that's really cool. This is kind of unbeknownst to you guys because I don't really show a lot of this on my channel, but I'm a huge nerd. I like playing PC games. I'm a huge PC gamer. I really like some video games. I like um, Ghost Recon and Halo are my two favorite PC or console games of all time. And so that may seem kind of odd, me being the, you know, girly whatever. And I also really like outdoor stuff like, um, you know, hiking and fishing and stuff like that too. So a lot of people don't know that about me as well. Um, and so just because you're on YouTube or you are a YouTube, either a YouTuber in general or a beauty YouTube guru, whatever you want to call it, doesn't mean that you can't show that side of you. You don't have to put on a certain face when you sit down to do beauty videos. And I feel like some people either feel like they have to do that or do do that. And so it's okay if you come in and you're filming and, you know, you are wearing your um, camping gear or fishing gear or whatever, and you want to film a, a beauty video, that's, that's fine, you know? So I think that it's, you shouldn't have to compromise who you are just to be on YouTube. You can be, you know, whoever you want to be. That's the beauty of YouTube. Um, number four and five are the most emotional ones for me. And so if I get a little bit emotional talking about them, I apologize in advance. But these are things that are very serious to me and that I think people struggle with the most. And number four is it's okay to have a bad day or a bad week or sometimes a bad month that happens. Don't feel like just because you're a YouTuber means you have to film the day you find out your face broke out in hives or your friend's dog died or your coworker was a jerk to you at work and you have to film, you're like, well, I filmed two days a week and this is that day, but my dog died. You don't have to film if you don't want to. It's okay. If you need a break, take a break. Your YouTubers will understand. And on the flip side of that, if you are the kind of person that maybe needs to reach out to somebody, it's also okay to sit down and be emotional on camera and film and say, this is what's going on right now. And I want to give an example, and this is one of those ones where I'm just like, okay, let's get through this and just, you know, don't ruin my glitter eyes today. But I watched, why is it falling all over the place? I watched um, one of my favorite YouTubers ever, and I know there's mixed feelings about this YouTuber, and if you guys like her, great. If you don't, that's fine too. But one of the first people that I ever subscribed to was Elle Fowler. And I subscribed to her because I just thought that she was the epitome of what I wanted to be as a YouTuber. She was really pretty. She used really nice high-end stuff. Um, she just seemed to have everything going for her. And recently, I have absolutely just, not in a weird way, but fallen in love with her all over again because she recently went through something very traumatic. And she, even through that process, and there were times where she couldn't physically film because of her back, but she still talked about what happened and she kind of went through this phase where her personality and her lifestyle and everything just changed. And I was watching one of her videos the other day and she was just kind of talking, almost like talking through her own thoughts out loud on camera, but you know, everybody was watching it. And she was talking about the, her back and the way that that kind of made her feel now because of what happened and so I could totally relate to that because I still deal with back issues from my accident and I know what that's like I know what it's like to not be able to sit for more than a few minutes at a time because you're in a such excruciating pain or not be able to walk or stand or I know what that's like and so I just remember watching that video and like bawling my eyes out because I was just like oh, I connected with her um, you know this like youtuber or whatever that I've never met before <clears throat> because of the experience that she went through. So I told you guys, let's not ruin this, uh, you know, mascara, whatever, but moving on to number five, this is also another one that so many people deal with. And it's one of my biggest, not pet peeves, but it just, it frustrates me. And it's, okay if some people don't like you and it's not okay if they bully you so here we're going to talk about this for a sec so 
in some of my earlier videos, there were some people that obviously didn't like some of my videos because there were words that I repeated quite a bit because in the beginning, and even sometimes now, I don't speak very well. I'm not very eloquent. I don't even know if that's the word for it. I'm not good with words. And so I stutter, I stumble, I say the wrong things, I say things repeatedly, you know, multiple times. And some people really catch on to that and it just annoys them. And there are a couple of beauty, or not even beauty, but just YouTube you know, YouTubers in general that I don't really like watching because some of the things that they say or do just kind of bother me. And so I don't have to watch it. And some people still feel the need to watch and comment and tell you that they don't like you, which is okay. It's not okay for them to get on and bully, which is what I wanted to talk about because there was an Instagram photo. I was scrolling through my Instagram the other day and one of my, and I believe it was her, I don't remember for sure, but I'm pretty sure it was Allison Anderson's um, Instagram page and she posted this picture the most innocent picture ever of a jar of candy a jar of candy and hundreds of people got on there and were telling her why are you posting a picture of candy you've gained so much weight lately and you're fat and I was just appalled and absolutely like oh my god I can't believe that I'm reading through this and I'm one of those people that, like, when I see that kind of stuff, I'm like, report, flag, flag, flag. So I'm like, these people are so mean. So if that ever happens to you, and I really hope that it doesn't, because that's awful. You don't have to sit there and read through it. Some people will sit there and read through all the comments, and you're inevitably going to read all of the negative ones. And as you read each and every one, it's going to bring you down a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more. That's, you don't need to go through that. Delete it get rid of it. Just, you know, x -nay that from your life completely. And every once in a while, you'll get a comment that is a mean comment, but it might be that one comment that you just decide to ignore, get over, I'm moving on. It may be it builds your personality even more and you become a stronger person because of it. But it's just, it's one of those things where some people, no matter who you are, you could be the most beautiful, successful, gorgeous, um, popular YouTuber ever and there's gonna be people out there that just hate your face for no reason absolutely no reason every single one of you I'm sure has had one or two of those people that get on there and you could tell they just didn't like your video they didn't like you they're like you said this too much yeah what, what's going on with your ew you know and so it just it happens but it's okay because you can just move on and learn from that and go on with your life and so that is kind of today's topic. Next video, we are going to talk about, um, the title of that one is going to be How to Build a Face from Nothing. And I'm going to show you, this is going to be the beauty side of it, where you can take a face that doesn't have a whole lot going on and still turn it into something that you can work with every day. So I'm not going to go into too much detail on that because that's for another day. But if you guys are interested, if you like these type of videos, let me know. Comment down below if there's things that you're going through, tips that you have, experiences that you have um, that you want to talk about, leave them down below. Obviously, you don't have to. Some things are very personal. But if there's something where you're like, yeah, I can totally relate to that and you want to talk about it, then just leave me a message down below. And maybe there's other people that also are like, yeah, I went through the same thing too. And you guys can kind of connect and create this network, which is kind of what these videos are about, is talking about issues that a lot of us have that we can all talk about together and move through. So that's it for today, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.